has raised the question whether the Israeli spyware was used to trap Dubai ruler's daughter, Princess Latifa, and whether it is being used to monitor Dubai ruler's former wife, Princess Haya, and their children. Princess Latifa is one of the 25 children of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the Prime Minister of UAE and the ruler of the Emirate of Dubai. Latifa attempted to escape the Arab royal family for the second time in February 2018. They told me that your father told us to beat you until we kill you. That's his orders, your father's orders. Your father, the ruler of Dubai, that's what he said. On 24th of February 2018, at 7 a.m., Latifa was dropped off at a cafe to meet a friend for breakfast in downtown Dubai by her driver. Latifa changed clothes and left her phone behind at a cafe when fleeing. Latifa and friend Tina drove six hours to Muscat. They reached international waters 13 miles off the coast through a dingy and jet ski. On February 25th, a day after her escape, Latifa's phone number appeared on the Pegasus list. The escape group rerouted the destination from Sri Lanka to India after losing contact with friends who drove them to Muscat. The plan was to reach India and fly to the US to seek political asylum. On February 28, numbers of some of Latifa's close friends began appearing on the list, which is determined to have been from Dubai. Taylor's phone number appeared on the Pegasus list repeatedly on March 1st, 2nd and 4th, according to the Pegasus project. On March 4th, Princess Latifa was caught. Without the examination of Taylor or Linda's phones, it cannot be ascertained whether their phones were hacked through Pegasus. Princess Haya, the former wife of the Dubai ruler, was successful in her escape, but the custody battle for their children continues. Once again, it has raised the question as to how spyware can be grossly misused.